Hello everybody, uh, this is lesson 4 of Serif Page Plus X5 and we're going to look at today the use of text and images together. Okay, so first of all you can see on my document here uh, I've just imported some text into the text frame that we used last time um, from Wikipedia and what we're going to do is we're going to bring in an image as well. So I'm going to go insert picture from file. I'm going to choose this image here. And I'm just going to drag it in so that's the size of one. Okay. First of all, uh, what you'll notice is the image is on top of the text. Now, if we go to layers, this tab over here called layers, this will tell us what layers we have got within. Uh, the working environment. So layer one is, is the two objects together, the brochure is the image, right there, text frame, and we've got master layer, but we're not using uh, a master layer for this particular um, viewing on this lesson. So that's just for your information, I'm not going to use that because it's not really needed at this stage. So what we've got to do is we've got pages here, we've got this page here which looks entirely like this one. What I want the text to do, I want the text to wrap around the image as you would normally do or a document or something like that. But before I do that, we're just going to make sure you see that A wrapping over the box again. We're going to sort that out like we did in the previous lessons. Um, so we go to format. I'm just going to make this text a bit larger. At the moment, we've got it at 14. I'm going to make it a 16. And I can see all the text now. You can see the A, the a is just dragging over the edge which is, is something I've mentioned before normally with, with this program. Uh, it's set to aerial as well at the moment. Anyway, I'm going to go to format, paragraph, spacing under, under that bit there and deselect the optical justification and as before that sorts that little issue out. Okay. Um, we want this image to get the text to wrap around it. And the way to do that is we select the image, left click to select the image. Just get it again, there we are. And we're going to use these two icons here, or these, these sort of two uh, tools here wrap settings and edit wrap. When we click on wrap settings, the moment you've got two rows, okay. Wrapping style and wrap to. At the moment it's set to none, so you won't be able to select any of these other ones. We're going to try and get it to wrap to the left, and we want it fairly tight. So we're going to click on that one there, and you can see that uh, it's tight. These then come in play, and we click on right. We're not going to change the uh, distance from the image with these here, which is what you can do there, and how close. The text is towards the image, right, left, right, bottom, or top. So we selected tight, selected right, and we click OK. Straight away, I just click off. What you can see is the text is wrapping to the wrapping around the uh, image. I drag it up. There we are. It moves to the side. OK. Um, you would use that a lot to uh, lay out a document or a newsletter or something like that. The other thing we can do is I'm just going to select the image again. Select the image. Imagine that this image was a circle or uh, not a circle but uh, uh, an image that uh, was quite awkward like a picture of a person with, with their hand sticking out. Imagine that, I don't know, I'm going to stick this block in here Okay. Imagine you had an image that was like that. Yes, you could select the wrap around it, which I'm going to do as well. Tight, right. Okay, you'll see that the text will wrap around both. But I'm a bit bored of that. I don't want it to do that. I want it to sort of wrap in a bit of a circle, a semicircle. So what we'll do is we're going to I'm going to select this image here. I'm going to edit wrap just this bit and you'll see a dotted line is around the image. I'm going to drag this 
not going to drag that. I'm going to click on it. When you see the curly, curly bit, I'm going to click on it and drag it out like that. Okay, and straight away, what you'll notice is it's wrapping around that um, feature or the edit wrap that I've put there. Click on the image again. I'll just bring that down so I can click on the image easily. And you can see where it is. Um, you can click hold of it, left click and drag it down anywhere. There you go. It's because it's um, because it's it's all the way down to here, and we had it left and right. It, it, it's still wrapping around the bottom here. So as you can see, that's quite a useful feature for when you're setting up. Uh, a project or newsletter or whatever you want to be doing. Okay, I'm just going to delete that image. It's deleted and I'm going to just take that back for the moment, or roughly anyway. There we go. Right, what you might want to do with your text is just quickly what I'll go over is you might want to change the colour of your text. Going to briefly talk about them. You've got your color selector here. You've got various ways you can do that. If you select the text box like that, it's selected. You can see as I'm moving my mouse off, it's selected. Uh, we can use this color thing here. There's the text color. So I'm just going to click on that. That's green. You can use your sliders to change your color. And you can also use these swatches here and you've got lots and lots of different swatches okay standard CMYK for printing standard RGB for web but you can use these others and uh, if you like a particular image and when you actually uh, render the, the, the project into a PDF um, it will take it to the correct nearest CMYK or RGB for your project. Okay, I'm just going to go back to colour here on this colour tab here. Uh, another interesting feature you can do with the text before we go is if I select that first paragraph, okay, in a format, you've got something there called drop cap. So we're going to select drop cap, little box will open up, and it shows non dropped raised. We're going to select dropped. Number of lines will leave it three, distance from text will leave set at that. That's okay. And you've got a nice little feature with the A, as you can see in books or whatever, is uh, slightly larger. Okay, so we've done some basics in relation to how you can wrap the text around an image. Um, if I was to put a box there, what I could do is I could select that box, select it again, select that box. Click on uh, wrap settings, we're going to go tight and we're going to go left this time. And as you can see, it wraps around. So it's starting to become a bit more of a feature. Okay, so that's it for this lesson. What we're going to do in the next lesson, we're going to start to work on a project doing some business cards. And we are going to use the templates for that. Okay, so thanks for listening and we'll see you again in lesson five.